listeners and subscribers. Hope all is well. Thanks for joining me. So you know that this merited more credit than I gave it. I kind of just did a quick gloss over it. We should probably look at a little bit more in depth. I'm not going to read the whole thing. It's quite lengthy. I pointed that out before. I'm just going to be hitting the high points here with this one. Uh, it's just the implications here are so heavy and, and again i'm not trying to toot my own horn with this that's not what i was getting at when i was talking about i was being right nobody likes to be right about this it's just very disturbing sort of the trend we see that we're heading down right now uh, and, and again i think the implications are heavy so go ahead and enjoy again we're just hitting the high points on this the FBI, for the first time, has identified fringe conspiracy theorists as a domestic terrorist threat, according to a previously unpublicized document obtained by Yahoo News. The FBI Intelligence Bulletin from the Bureau's Phoenix Field Office, dated May 30, 2019, describes conspiracy theorist-driven domestic extremists as a growing threat and notes that it is the first such report to do so. It lists a number of arrests, including some that haven't been publici uh, publicized, related to violent incidents motivated by fringe beliefs. The document specifically mentions, and wait for it, QAnon, a shadowy network that believes in a deep state conspiracy against President Trump, and Pizzagate, the theory that a pedophile ring, including Clinton's associates, were being run out of a basement of a Washington, D.C. pizza restaurant. These are the very buzzwords that aren't going to be allowed to talk about on, you're not going to be allowed to talk about on YouTube anymore, and just 48 hours before this went viral and mainstream, um or 48 hours before this went viral and mainstream, I had put a video out talking about this ex exact same scenario, how they're going to be labeling and wholesale folks with characteristics that don't represent their values based on what could be instigated incidents, okay? These catalyzing incidents that are often manufactured. If you catch what I'm, if you, if you catch what I'm, I'm trying to throw, if you pick up what I'm putting down type deal, all right? In May, Michael C. McGarity, the FBI's assistant director of the Counterterrorism Division, told Congress the Bureau now classifies domestic terrorism threats into four main categories, racially motivated violent extremism, anti-government, anti-authority extremism, animal rights, environmental extremism, and abortion extremism. And I just love how they sandwich the anti-government and anti-authority extremism in between the other ones there. It says the new focus on conspiracy theories appears to fall under the broader category of anti-government extremism. See, I'm telling you, that's the focus there, and that's what I was outlining in my previous video. I'll leave a link in the description below. Um, this is the first FBI product examining the threat from conspiracy, theory-driven domestic extremists, and provides a baseline for future intelligence reports. That's absolutely incredible. The new category is different in that it focuses on uh, not on racial motivations, but on violence based specifically on beliefs that, in the words of the FBI document, attempt to explain events or circumstances as the result of a group of actors working in secret to benefit themselves at the expense of others and are usually at odds with official or prevailing explanations of events. So that's absolutely crazy. Basically, what I'm offering here, a fact-based reference for alternatives to official narratives, okay, a reference for alternative narratives, they just said that those folks who adhere to that are domestic extremists, okay, that they're terrorists. This is absolutely incredible. I, I hope you can see if you have your thinkers on where this is going. And get this, and get this, because this article, this FBI document is catching everything up. They're using all the buzzwords so that later you won't be able to talk about them on platforms like YouTube. You won't be able to talk about it on Facebook, Instagram, any of those other uh, type deals because it's going to be labeled as extremist content. Don't that's that's what we're talking about because it says among the violent conspiracy theories cited in the May FBI document is one involving a man who thought the Transport Security Administration agents TSA right were part of a what new world order. Another focused on the high frequency active Aurora research uh, research program, which is HARP, which is a government funded facility in Alaska, and it's been linked to everything from death beams to mind control. Uh, and again, they're using this type of rhetoric to catch anybody else who might even in the periphery uh, adhere to some of even just slightly to some of these beliefs. And they're, they're, they're catching a whole swath of the population up to label them as uh, whacked out crazies that are a governmental threat. So now that these intelligence agencies and the government can put their thumb on these folks, okay, this is dangerous. And I, I don't know if I could have said this any better. See, oftentimes I know what I'm talking about and I know what I want to say, but uh, my mouth just can't keep up with my brain sometimes, okay? Uh, but I think I outlined this uh, quite well right here. 
right? And that's just one adjunct of it. Like I said, the real nefarious push, the the underlying message to these things, uh, which is what I was talking about a second ago, is this stuff is debuted in a way that could easily be weaponized against whoever participates in or endorses even the peripheral aspects of a given scenario. Okay, so it's more excuse for the government's plausible deniability when we see these restrictive measures roll out. That's the crux of all this. The QAnon... And that's what I go on to say is the QAnon stuff, the Area 51, the Pizzagate, all this stuff is being used to just write off a whole swath of people who might even peripherally uh, endorse or believe in some of this stuff so that the government has more means to censorship the internet and other platforms and uh, go for the individual citizen. I think that's what's coming here and it's pretty obvious. California Carter, signing off.